Cyrus can't stop, won't stop singing about how she used to be young. On Friday, the 30-year-old singer released the emotional music video to her new song, Used to Be Young, which has her reflecting on her former party days and how she is not the same person she used to be. week, Miley has been releasing tidbits about the song to her Instagram and being very open about its meaning. On Tuesday, she shared the lyrics and captioned the post, used to be young, August 25th. These lyrics were written almost two years ago at the beginning of my ESV. It was at a time I felt misunderstood. I've spent the last 18 months painting a sonic picture of my perspective to share with you. The time has arrived to release a song that I could perfect forever. Although my work is done, the song will continue to write itself every day. The fact it remains unfinished is a part of its beauty. That is my life at this moment. Unfinished yet complete. Sincerely, Miley. And on Thursday, she gave a preview to the music video and openly revealed what the lyrics to Used to Be Young signify for her past and what to expect from her for the future. And this gets us here. Used to be young is my newest single. It's optimistic and there's a sadness. It's allowing sadness and joy to be happening simultaneously, which happens all the time. More importantly, this song is about looking towards the future and where I'm going. I know I used to be crazy, messed up, but God was it fun. I know I used to be wild. That's good. Access Hollywood recently took a look back at the many interviews we had with the superstar over the years, starting with her very first one at just four years old. This is fun, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Pretty fun. We were with an adorable four-year-old Miley back in 1997 and witnessed one of her first musical collaborations with dad, Billy Ray. Daddy? Daddy? What? Talk about Little Ray Caboose Chuck Hey, you can sing that song. Little Ray Caboose Chuck Chuck Chuck. Little Ray Caboose Chuck Chuck Chuck. Smoke step goes back, back, back. Coming down the Chuck Chuck Chuck. And the train kept on rolling in 2005 when Miley and her dad auditioned for Disney's Hannah Montana and nailed it. I want my money. In 2006, Billy Ray told us his 14-year-old daughter always had the makings of a star. To me, uh, she is a, a mixture between Lucille Ball and Dolly Parton. Billy, get in by without taking and no giving. And back then, we put Miley and her dad to the test with a round of father-daughter uncensored. Okay, Daddy, what was the deal with your mullet? Oh, baby doll. That's called a Kentucky waterfall. This is called scary, Dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you know the words to achy, breaky heart? Don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart, that's it. In 2007, we were on set of Hannah Montana with an excited Miley, who had just learned of the show's first Emmy nomination. I got an email this morning when I woke up. I was like, congratulations, you're nominated. And I was like, oh my gosh. I called all my friends, I was like, guess what? Run! Miley was a full-on phenomenon by 2008, and we were behind the scenes for her music video, Fly on the Wall. I wrote it for like the media, always feeling like they need to be in my life. Miley had just celebrated her sweet 16, opening up about maintaining her self-esteem in Hollywood. I'm sure some people would think I would look better thinner, or I would look better. I feel like healthy, and as long as I fit into my jeans, I'm happy, you know? So and you never obsessed with being I do, I definitely, it's like all girls do, and there'll be times where I just wish I could look like that, but I'm like, you know, that's not what you're meant to be. 